Several months ago, we talked about the Relay business banking platform and the many features that make this the most robust business banking tool on the market right now. But with so many unique features to unpack, today I want to do a more in-depth step-by-step guide on the Relay banking platform to help you understand how to best use this platform to optimize your small business or side hustle. All right, let's jump right into it. What is going on everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So we have got a lot to cover in today's video, so let's not waste any time. Let's hop into the Relay accounts and take a look at the many features that this platform offers. I am going to touch on most of the major features that this platform offers, but again, if you do want a more in-depth look and review style video on Relay, then I will link to my previous review on the platform down in the description below. I do also want to say a huge thank you to Relay for sponsoring this video and continuing to support my content, but as always, you all know that I turn down like 99% of the companies that reach out to me and I only ever review products that I believe in and believe can add value to your financial life as my viewer. Also, this is probably going to be a longer video and one that you might want to come back to in the future for whatever reason. So there are going to be chapter notes down on the timeline and down in the description to help you find the exact menu that you are looking for. So with all of that out of the way, feel free to sign into your Relay accounts or sign up using the link down in the description so that you can follow along with me. But let's jump into the full relay demo. All right, so obviously the first thing we wanna do is go ahead and log in by clicking the login button in the top right-hand corner of the screen, or you can sign up by clicking the sign up button as well. So once you get logged in, you're gonna be brought to the home screen and all of your different tabs that we're gonna go through in today's video are gonna show here on the left-hand side of the screen. And just a reminder that all of the basic features of the Relay platform do come at no charge. However, they do offer a Relay Pro feature that does give you some additional benefits, which we will clarify later on in today's video. All right, so from the home screen, obviously in the top left-hand corner here, we have the name of our business and we have the total balance in this account. And if we scroll down, you can see these are all the different transactions on this account. And the first thing I really wanna point out to you is the enriched data. And this is one of the huge things that I love about Relay, that they really pride themselves on and really helps separate them from the competition. And what I mean when I say enriched data is one of those things that every bank account should have and information that comes to every bank account, but is not displayed to you as the end user. So in this case, if we scroll down and we click on the Slack transaction, for example, obviously the Slack logo and the name is going to show up in the top of the screen here, and it's going to show us the date of that transaction and the amounts. But if we scroll down a little bit further, it's going to give us a ton of enriched data, which again, in this case is the the status of that transaction, which account, meaning which checking account that was pulled from, the card that was used, the category, which in this case is software and IT, and it even gives you the phone number, website, and address of the merchant where that transaction originated from. So in this case, the merchant is Slack, so it gives us all of that information for Slack right here from the home screen, which I absolutely love. And I know that this might not sound like that big of a deal, but when you are reconciling different expenses and trying to figure out what purchases were where and how to figure all of that out. This is just going to save you so much time when it comes to cleaning up your books and making sure that everything is properly categorized at the end of the month. I will also point out here that Relay has a fantastic mobile application as well that allows you to do all of the necessary banking features on the go right from your smartphone. So definitely check that out on the iOS or Android app stores. And if you would like to see an in-depth breakdown like today's demo video on the app specifically, then definitely let me know about that down in the comments section as well. And in terms of security, they do not mess around. Every account is fully FDIC insured up to the standard $250,000. You also get MasterCard's zero liability policy on all of the debit cards. And they also use standard features like two-factor authentication to make sure that your account is staying locked down and secure all the time. And that enriched data applies not only to those card transactions with all of the enriched data that we just talked about, but also to things like check deposits, for example. And you can see here that it's going to show you who deposited the check, which account that is going into, and you can even leave custom notes, which makes it way better than just saying this is check number 203 and trying to figure out what in the world that was for. So nothing too fancy here on the home screen. Obviously, you can search for specific transactions or filter by different criteria. But next, we're going to go over to the left hand side of the screen and select the accounts tab. Now, this is where things start to get really unique with the Relay platform, and again, what really sets them apart from the competition. And the reason I say that is because you can see under the Accounts tab, you can create up to 20 different no-fee checking accounts, and each of those has their own account and routing number. 
So these aren't vaults or saving envelopes under your main accounts. Each of these is their own distinct checking accounts with their own account number, and you can have up to 50 different debit cards tied to each of those accounts. So you can do the math. Obviously, you can get a little carried away with that, but in here we have accounts for different projects, for payroll, profits, for marketing expenses, and a few other categories as well. And while that might seem like a bit much at first, again, this is going to speed up the accounting and bookkeeping process and really help you compartmentalize all of those different expenses and understand what your true cash reserves are. And I'll also point out on this menu that because we have our Relay account integrated with the payroll platform called Gusto, which integrates wonderfully with Relay, it's actually giving us a shortfall alert, letting us know that there are insufficient funds, and obviously we have to take care of that. You're also able to set up automatic transfers based on a percentage or a cash-based transfer between different accounts when money comes into your account. So if you get a $10,000 payment, for example, and you want to set aside 30% for taxes, well then you can automatically set up your tax account in this case to pull 30% of that money in so that when it comes time to pay your taxes, that money is automatically set aside and you don't even have to worry about it. And again, I really want to drive the point home here that each of these is their own separate checking account. So if you click on payroll, for example, in the top right hand corner, you can move or add money to this account, but you can even scroll down and see the transactions specifically for this account, or you can click on the statements tab and you can download an entire bank statement for a particular month for this specific checking account. Under the details tab is where you're going to find your account and routing number. And of course, you can also see all of the different individuals within your organization that are on this particular account. Last thing I want to show you in the accounts tab, if we click the add money button, obviously you can move money from an external account, but you can also deposit funds with a debit or credit card. However, as you can see, there are fees associated with each of those. But the other thing you can do is obviously a mobile check deposit or direct deposit via an external source as well. Plus, it is completely free to fund from any external bank account. So again, if we click the add money button and click from external accounts, you can see that it brings up some of the most popular national banks and we can search for our bank in here, easily input our information and set up that transfer automatically with no fees. And those funds usually show up within one business day. All right, so that's the accounts tab. But if we click on the cards tab, this is where we are going to set up and delete and track all of the many different debit cards that you can add to each of the accounts that we just looked at. Again, you can add up to 50 virtual or physical MasterCards. And again, each of those cards has the MasterCard zero liability, so you have nothing to worry about there. So on the left-hand side of this menu, we can scroll down and see all of the many different physical and virtual cards that we currently have on this Relay account. And we can click on any of these and get the different information, including the card number, the expiration dates, whether it is a virtual or physical card, and any other details that we might need to know about each of these. As an owner of this particular Relay account, we can also click the edit button and we can change what the nickname for this card is and we can change the daily transaction limit. Obviously, you can freeze this card right from this menu, and you can even toggle foreign transactions on or off right from here. So if you have an employee or you yourself is traveling internationally, then you can turn on foreign transactions right from this menu. Adding a new card is super easy. We just click the green plus sign towards the bottom of the screen here. We're going to give this card a nickname. So in this case, let's call it marketing. We're going to make this a virtual card because we're just going to use this for some online marketing expenses. So we don't actually need a physical card to be shipped to us. But if you want that, you would obviously click the physical card option. We're then going to select the source account, which is the checking account that we want to pull funds from when we spend money on this card. So obviously in this case, we would select the marketing expense. Next, we're going to select which team member this card is tied to. So we can do an overarching umbrella card that covers kind of the whole business, or we can select the team member name and you can see a list of different names pop up and we can choose the team member that we are going to assign this card to. Again, you can toggle foreign transactions on or off. And as soon as we click done, that card has now been added to that account and we can immediately start using it with its unique card number. And the last thing I'll mention about the cards is you can use these to withdraw cash at any all point ATM, which is a pretty big network for completely free. And obviously you are able to use them at off network ATMs. However, the ATM provider will sometimes charge you a fee. However, Relay themselves is not going to charge you a fee, which is a huge bonus in my book. All right, we are halfway through. Next, we're going to take a look at the payments tab, but hopefully you see how powerful this platform truly is and how it really is a perfect tool if you are just getting started with your business and plan on growing and adding team members and a lot of complexity down the road. 
Many of these features are just not available with similar business accounts and don't allow you nearly as much flexibility in terms of growing with accounts and different team members and different cards and all of the things that we're talking about in today's video. So again, if you want to sign up for Relay, link in the description. But next, let's take a look at the payments tab. Not everyone's favorite because this is where we're sending out a lot of money. However, a very important tab in order to run clean books and run and operate your small business or side hustle. There is a lot to unpack with this menu, but just as a refresher in terms of what payment options Relay currently has, they have ACH Next Day, which is completely free. They have ACH Same Day if you have Relay Pro. And then you can see all the different payment options here, including domestic and international wires, as well as a physical paper check that you can fill out online and Relay will then send that on your behalf. And I will point out here that because this is a Relay Pro account, those domestic and international wire transfers are completely free. So just another reason that you might want to consider upgrading to Relay Pro. However, if you are not a Relay Pro member, then the domestic and international wire transfers are $5 and $10 respectively. But before we get into that new payments tab, if you go back out to the home screen of this payments menu, if we scroll down, you can see the recent payment activity as well as recently added payees and up here at the top of the screen, you've got your unpaid bills and bills that are awaiting approval. So to start a new payment, we're going to click the new payment button in the top right hand corner. And first we're going to select the payee, meaning who are we sending this money to? And you can see there's a few that are already loaded in here from previous transactions, but we're going to add a new payee by clicking the new payee button at the bottom of this menu. Next, we're going to type in the name, email address, the account classification, meaning is this a business or an individual? We can select a memo, which is just what is this payment for, similar to the memo line on a paper check. And then we're going to select the add payment method button. Again, you can see all the different options that Relay currently offers. So in this case, let's do an ACH transfer. And now we're going to input the details of the individual that we are sending money to. So we're going to tell them, is this a personal or business checking your savings accounts? We're going to input the account and routing number, and we have to verify that because that's very important. And again, that is all information that you will receive from the individual that you are sending money to. One other thing I completely forgot to mention about the payments tab, which is one of the best features, not only of this menu, but probably the entire Relay platform, is you can request not only all of the payment information from the person that you're wanting to send that payment to, but you can also request a W9 right from this menu. So if you wanna make sure that all of the payment information is correct and you don't have any typos or errors, then again, you can just request that payment information that they will get via an email, and you can have them fill out the W9, which will then be sent back to you so that you have that on file as well. If you've ever tried to pull together tax documents at the end of the year and been frustrated frustrated that you didn't get a W-9 from one vendor, then you totally understand that having the ability to pull that W-9 information and request it right from this menu in real time is a huge game changer and another one of those features that really sets Relay apart from the rest of the competition. Once we do that, we're going to click the create payee button and we're now ready to move on to the next step of this payment. Again, we select the payment method. So in this case, we're going to go next day ACH. We're gonna select the source account. So in this case, we're gonna take this out of the operating accounts. We're gonna type in the amount. So in this case, let's say this is a $500 payment and we can set the frequency either as one time or we can set up a recurring payment as well that will go out automatically on a regular scheduled time. We'll put in the date that we want this transfer to happen. And again, we can put in the memo of what is this particular payment for. You can select to get a notification once this payment reaches the destination bank. And then lastly, at the bottom of the screen, we have the recipient details. Then we're just gonna click next, verify that everything looks good to go, and then we're gonna select the initiate payment button. Now back out on the home screen of this payments menu, you can see under the payables tab here, we've got a few different action items. And I wanna be clear that the advanced accounts payables automation is only available with Relay Pro, which is $30 per month. And that might sound like a lot if you are a small business, but again, you can always start out with the regular version of Relay and then upgrade to Relay Pro if you find that you really like the platform and feel that you'll get value out of those additional benefits. The good news is that beyond that 30 bucks per month, you get a ton of additional features and there are no additional transaction fees and you have unlimited transactions across the board, which is always a good thing. So again, this is just available for Relay Pro members, but if we go under that action items menu, we've got unpaid bills as well as awaiting approval. So if we click on unpaid bills, you can see at the top of the screen here, we have all of the different stages of the bill payment process. So we've got those unpaid bills 
vehicles that I just mentioned, the ones that need approval, which we'll come back to in a second. We've got the ready for payment, in progress, paid, and then we can view all of the bills under one menu as well. So we can click on any of these bills and click initiate payment to start the payment process. But the next step is the ones that need approval. And this is another feature that I really love about Relay. Not only are these bills being automatically pulled from your bookkeeping software like QuickBooks or Xero, which is going to help you stay on the same page with your bookkeeper or accountant or CPA, but you can also set up approvers for each of these bills when you set up the payment. And if you are the owner of your business and you have a lot of different employees, then this can be a really nice feature as well, because maybe there's certain bills that you don't want to have to approve yourself, but you can set up who is able to approve certain bills up to certain limits, and then other things might be sent directly to you for final approval. Again, all of that is fully customizable, and there's a million different combinations that I could show you, but all you need to know is there's a ton of approval and approver options of who and how different bills are approved before money ever leaves your account. Once bills are approved, they are then obviously ready for payment. So again, you can click on that tab and click initiate payment. You can see the bills that are in progress, the paid bills, and like I said earlier, you can see all of them under one menu as well. All right, so the payments menu is definitely the most robust and has the most features. And again, a lot of these are only available to Relay Pro members, but you do get the basic functions of Relay with the standard accounts. So it doesn't hurt to try it out, see what you think, and then you can upgrade in the future. But the next tab is the Teams tab. And this is where you're going to really allow your organization and your team and employees to grow over time. So within here, you obviously have a list of all of the different team members that are currently on your accounts, and then you can add a new team member by clicking that button at the top of this menu. You can either import them from Gusto, which is the payroll platform that integrates wonderfully with Relay, or you can manually input their work email and set their permission level, which goes all the way from an administrator, which is someone who is in charge and can do anything on the accounts, all the way down to a deposit only member, who is someone who can just deposit funds into this account. Once you click invite at the bottom of this menu, that individual is then going to receive an email that will walk them through the steps to add them to this Relay account and give them access at the level that you allowed them. At the top of this menu, you've also got the Advisors tab, and this is where you can add a CPA, for example, or just an accountant or bookkeeper, or maybe even a lawyer, and make sure that, again, you are staying on the same page with that individual to streamline the entire bookkeeping process and save you time and money. So nothing too complex with the Team Members tab, but lastly, we have the Settings tab all the way on the left-hand side at the bottom of this tab menus, and this is where we're going to access all of the different informational options and settings, obviously, for our account. So again, obviously you've got that basic surface level information if you need to access it for whatever reason, but from this settings menu, you're also able to view the session activities on your Relay account, which means you can see who logged into the account, when they logged in, where they logged in from, and while that might sound a little odd at first, it is good to have this information should you need it for whatever reason. You're also able to set up those security features that I mentioned earlier, like two-factor authentication, for example, and you can even register multiple businesses under one Relay account, which is amazing because if you are really a hustling entrepreneur and you have multiple different businesses, then you can use all of those different Relay accounts with one set of login credentials. This is also where you're going to manage those integrations of those platforms I've been mentioning throughout today's video, like QuickBooks, Xero, and all of those good things. And you've also got the ability to export your state to things like HubDoc, Receipt Bank, and other similar platforms. All right, so that is all the menus. I know we covered a lot pretty quickly, and there's probably a few things that I didn't cover, but the last thing I want to mention in today's video is the most important tab, in my opinion, and that would be support, which is all the way in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Now, Relay currently offers phone line support from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, as well as email support from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. seven days per week. In talking with them, they are really putting an emphasis on customer support and are hoping to expand those hours even further in the near future. But from the support tab, you've obviously got all of the different contact information. And this is where you're going to find that phone number and email address if you need to email them and have a question about anything regarding your Relay account. So there we go. I know that was a lot to unpack in one video. And again, there's probably a few things that I may have missed. So be sure to go back to the original Relay review that I made a few months ago to see a full in-depth breakdown of all of the different features that you get with the standard and Relay Pro accounts. 
if you have any questions about your Relay accounts, I feel like I know my way around this platform pretty well at this point, so feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. And if you do want to sign up for your Relay account and get started, then there is also a link in the description for that. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future. And of course, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it so much. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.